All right, well, Liz, we're in another gallery right now. You can see that we've got a couple of pieces of work that we're going to talk about here by A.M. Rousseau. Yes, yes. She's an artist who works in a lot of different mediums. She does photography, she does drawings, she does paintings. Um, and this is a, a collection of her works that are created only by line. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So, Sarah, what do you notice about this? What would you like to find out about this piece right here? Why, I saw right here, why do they use rag paper? Is it just something they want to make appealing or? Great question. Um, artists use all different materials and a lot of the times it depends on, um, it depends on which type of medium they're using. So here she's using an India ink pencil. So it's kind of a cross hmm. between a, an ink pen and a pencil. And um, the rag paper allows her to get the right texture a little thicker and has a little bit of texture. If you look close, you'll see a little bit of texture. Oh yeah. Yeah, so that's just something that she decided to use. And artists use all different types of paper. There are so many different types of paper that, that artists can use. Yeah. And what else about this piece, Sarah, do you notice? I see something on the bottom and on the left-hand side. What do you notice? I notice that they all intersect at one point. They would all... Many of the lines do intersect. So she starts off, um, her process for this piece is um, the beginning, the preparation is a very long process. Yeah. And she measures out equal distances between each and every single one of the lines that she's going to create. Yeah. And she draws um, t 100 dots. So there's wow. 100 dots on the bottom and 100 dots on top. Wow. And you think you can take 100 dots, <laughs> make them equidistant, and then be able to do something like that? Probably take a long time, but yeah. yeah it maybe. take a long time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and I thought what was interesting, the difference between the work that we already saw, Kuzana Ogg's work, and this work, is that Kuzana uses a lot of very straight lines, very geometric yeah. shapes, and A.M. Rousseau's work is very organic and very flowy. Yeah. And um, really the only thing that she does um, that makes it that straight mathematical um, beginning is all of those little dots that she creates. And then she just allows her arm to just yeah. make these, these really interesting lines. When you look at that, Sarah, what comes to mind? What do you think of when you see that? I think of hair, a rainbow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Flowing hair, something yeah. I used to have. A lot of <laughs> rainbow, you can see. You yeah. know? And uh, it's just nice to see that flowing uh -huh. But the definite beginning and end right there also. And I think that's what really makes it interesting. I think if it was just lines going all over the place, it would, it would be interesting for different reasons. But having that definite end and beginning, yeah. it really makes these pieces um, make you stop and think. Yeah. Well, let's take a look at the other piece that you've got right here. So the process on this piece is the exact same. She starts with her 100 dots. Um, to begin with and her 100 dots to end with and then she draws lines. This one's a little more tangled than the other one, isn't it? Yeah, more knotted kind of. Yeah, yeah, but it's that same organic lines that are going yeah. around. Yeah. I like how she uses like like a ruler or something to make it super straight and a bunch of different angles and I like that. I like yeah. that a lot about it. I wonder why, see it looks like she had a straight line here, but then she added these, which makes an interesting yeah. angle there next to the straight, yeah. the straight line. I wonder why she did that. Yeah, I know, I wonder why <laughs> too. And are all of her pieces the same size? This series are all the same size, um, but her works are very large and very small, depending on what they what they are. So taking a little artistic movement, but always incorporating math into it. So what is some of the math that you see in this part? Angles. Angles. Lines. Lines. Um, and how did she start? What did she have to do first? She had to put a hundred. Oh yeah, I had to put a hundred dots. And right, so those points, you have to have a yeah. point to start from. Anything else that you notice? I did notice that right here it's kind of straight like the last one we saw and up here she added it and it's so 
tang more tangled than the last one we saw. All right, well, you know what? Yeah. What else can you tell us of this? These lines are a little thinner, aren't they? And that's something yeah. that I like as well, is that variety of her lines. Is these lines are real thin, and then they'll get really thick up here, and then maybe they'll yeah. end really thin. All right, well, you know what? Some great pieces of art that you've got here, especially tying it into some mathematics. Sarah, thank you for coming down to visit with us this afternoon. Liz, a great exhibit that you've got on right now. Thank you. And how often are exhibits going through the Museum of Art? We have um, about three different exhibitions per year. And so this exhibition will close out in April and we'll start a new one and, and there'll be another one in the fall and just keeps keeps moving on. All yeah. right, well, you know what? Maybe we'll stop by again and see what other math we can find in art. Okay. All right, nicely done. Liz, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very nice much. Meeting you. Nice meeting you. All right, let's go see what other art we can find. Okay. Ready? All right, let's go. <laughs>